glanced over his shoulders and silently counted his opposition. Three guards pointed their berettas at his head. He had to be Houdini to get out of this one. Crossing his arms in front of his body while he waited for Dr. Keller to make his move or give his order, he prayed Gabriel wasn't sleeping on the job. Despite his ever-cool demeanor, his heart raced to the point of bursting. For once, he had no words, no comeback. If nothing else, it would be an interesting fight, but he didn't expect to live through it. Outnumbered and seemingly outmatched, his option was to wait and see what developed. I'd like you to meet someone. Motioning with his hand, he beckoned the figure entering the room to come forward. Every hair on the back of Keegan's neck prickled. He knew this had to be his replacement. Dressed in a black, figure-hugging bodysuit, with an uncountable number of knives and pistols strapped to her body, she was a walking armory. It was hard not to notice her beautiful features. Keegan always appreciated a good-looking woman, and this one was no exception, although he would die before he told her so. Silently weighing up his options, planning an escape route and wondering what the fuck Gabriel was doing, he stalled. He flashed a wicked smile. I expect you've been looking forward to this moment, right? Keegan slowly folded his arms across his chest with the intention of holding both glocks hidden beneath his jacket. The woman smiled and nodded. Equally sly and calculating, she moved both hands to her hips to rest on the holstered sidearms. Dr. Keller interrupted the pissing contest. I would very much like to stay and watch what I expect is going to be a spectacular event, but alas, I have to leave. 